morning. This is Fremont Saddle, and we're looking over Weaver's Needle, a very popular landmark to the east of Phoenix. And I'm going to break here to talk about an animation that's not actually Japanese this week. The Secret of Kells. The Book of Kells is a medieval illuminated manuscript containing the four Christian gospels with annotations and commentary, other works, and illustrations. It was completed somewhere around 800 AD at the Irish Monastery of Kells. Most of it has survived to this day, and it's now considered one of the best examples of both the art of medieval illuminated text and of Celtic artwork. There are several theories to its painstaking creation over generations of monks. The Secret of Kells is a 2009 animated theatrical film from Ireland that tells its own version of these legends, with a unique art style and endearing characters. It's not anime from Japan, but it's obviously not going to stop me from talking about it. According to this movie, around 800 AD, the stern abbot of the Kells Monastery was a strict taskmaster, mostly interested in building strong walls around their small village as protection against Viking raids. That puts him at odds with the rest of his monks there, who are more concerned with copying books into illuminated works of art. The abbot's ward, young Brendan, is likewise more interested in the monk's art than his chores. The lad was orphaned at a very young age, and now lives so literally cloistered by the abbot that he's never even set foot outside the monastery walls. The division becomes more acute when Brother Aidan arrives from the monastery of Iona. He brings with him the sad news that the Vikings have plundered that island, and warns that they may one day come to Kells, too. He also brings with him the rescued Book of Iona, a labor of love of several generations of monks there. He already has a great reputation as a master illuminator himself. To the abbot, this is evidence that the walls must be built stronger still. To young Brendan, it's a chance to study art under a great master, and Brother Aiden is happy to oblige the enthusiastic and talented young pupil. Size of a place, isn't it? Huh? Is that where you keep the book? Hmm? And who might you be? A very sharp brother, I see. <laughs> no, he was short, his stature is never a short of questions. <laughs> the brothers were talking. And they said the St. Cullum Kill himself began. Brothers, now that you've greeted Brother Aidan, I must take him to see the important work we're doing to fortify Kells. You all have work to do. So, Brendan is our classic young protagonist caught between the restrictions imposed by his elders and the calling of his heart. The first thing you probably noticed there was the artwork. The Secret of Kells has an appearance of a medieval illumination, tapestry, or stained glass window. The art doesn't use perspective, such as vanishing points and foreshortening, because that technique wouldn't catch on until the 13th century. At first it seems that it would be hard to animate such a picture, but it turns out it works out very well, like a moving tapestry. And of course it's perfectly themed to the story that it tells. The art design also displays a lot of interesting motifs. The shading of scenes varies in color to show mood, with the Viking rains getting a bright red. Brendan's dreams and imagination are surrounded by floating Celtic runes, and in a couple of instances the art introduces perspective to add a third dimension to the picture, such as at the Caves of the Dark God Crom, where it gives the impression of a hole plunging through the tapestry into a bottomless pit, or the assault of the Vikings on the monastery, whose ranks strike outward from the tapestry in the background like a spear thrusting at you. In order to collect material for making the colored inks of the illuminated art, Brendan finally defies the abbot and sneaks outside the monastery walls to collect roots and berries. There in the forest, he meets Ashling, an enigmatic forest spirit who can take many animal forms, including human. Even though she is a supporting character, Ashling is the spark that makes the secret of Kells really come to life. Mysterious, ancient and wise, and sometimes a little bit scary, she is also childlike in her demeanor and curiosity. Her movements are cleverly animated to be quick and animal-like, often on all fours in her human form, and with her long white hair trailing behind like a tail. It might help if I knew what an oak tree looked like. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. 
what are you doing in my forest? You can come to spoil it, haven't you? Despite the rocky start to their first meeting, Brendan and Ashwin will become good friends. The Secret of Kells is a classic animated adventure story about a young man, told with humor and wit, as well as suspense and action. It was conceived and directed by Irishman Tom Moore. It took over a decade for him to create it, but it really pays off. The film was originally made to be shown in English. For the key voices of the children, Brendan and Ashling, they've used actual children. Christian Mooney's voice is especially good as Ashling. Bruno Coulet's music helps too, giving the story an old Celtic feel with joy, mystery, and suspense. One oddity of the story that I noticed was that despite being about monks in a monastery, and even though everyone behaves pretty much like our imagination of ancient monks would tell us, no one ever mentions God, or prays for that matter. It seems like Kells has become an oddly secular monastery in this film. Perhaps I should also warn you that the opening scene, which introduces the characters, involves chasing a goose through the courtyard. That might lead you to believe that Kells will be a slapstick comedy. Once we've met all the monks, it settles down nicely. I wanted to talk about The Secret of Kells because it was a small, independent film that didn't get a wide theatrical release in the U.S. It did get an Oscar nomination for Best Animated Film, though Up actually won that award. After Toy Story 3 wins that award this year, the Academy should just rename it the Pixar Cup and be done with it. The Secret of Kells is currently out on DVD in the U.S. or streaming on Netflix. The Secret of Kells offers imaginative storytelling, original artwork, great characters, plus an exciting story. It's well worth any animation fan's time to watch it. I give it five stars. I can't wait to see what Tom Moore creates next decade. Don't worry, I'll be back to talk about real anime next week. Thanks for watching.